Have you been here physically? No. Ah, okay. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. This is where I work. This is what we're working on. And uh, yeah, dog, time to. I just made a video for them that it's gonna be uploaded in a little bit. I'm in the office now again. Now yeah, so today I'm just working on clothing. I just designed some socks. And uh, we're doing like the test run on socks. Um, I'm trying a new um, new process, so I don't know. I'm not making them in house for the socks, but I'm trying to figure out how I can make socks. Because I think it'd be dope to make socks. Why not? Um, yeah. Besides that, I've just been working on a bunch of stuff. So I like since since my last drop. Um, I don't know. I've just been playing around with my jean jacket again. I just put that there. It's, it's, I'm just building this jean jacket for myself. I'm just gonna throw stuff on it. I made this last year, but um, yeah. We have, we have something really cool coming, but I'm waiting on some product to come in. And I have half of the product. I just need to get the other half so I can put it together. And uh, today's just a low key day. I'm just really just chilling. Um, after work, I just came home, hung out, did nothing. Um, and just started working on some new ideas and new methods of getting stuff. So with that, I'm chilling. I gotta edit my buddy's music video, which I might get started today. I honestly just been, um, I don't know, I've just been, I made one music video, I gotta make another. We're gonna make, we have like a four part series that we're creating and it's really cool because they all come in, like they all intertwine with each other. And it's like the concept of going in between a dream state of mind versus reality. And it's uh, like, like we call it gone, gone and confused. Like gone is your dream state of mind and reality is confused. So it's really, really cool. Um, but I just got to put in the work. I got to make sure I keep hustling and bustling. He makes really, really cool music. I really, really dig his stuff. And he's a cool friend. So I'm going to continue the video tomorrow because... Uh, I want to show you what I'm, my plans are for the car and go over the car, go over everything that's done to it, where it stands, what I need to fix, what I have on the way, all that good stuff. So tomorrow will be a little bit more explanation. Hopefully it doesn't raid. Audi. Yeah, so we're good. We're good to film tomorrow. I'm going to film. Squadron will probably do something. Oh, I don't know. We have Lena's pizza party. And then I might be selling my wheels. I don't know what I'm going to film. But I'll film. I promise. I got this, dog. I got this. We're going to get it. So, um, yeah. Music video. All that good stuff. It sounds hot. My computer really glitches out because these are like 100. These are shot in 120 frames per second, and uh, my computer doesn't like that. Jones Fuegos, though. I'm really hype about it, and I love music and the homie, all that good stuff. So, but I'll see you tomorrow. Holla! What is going on my G's? So I just got, um, I'm at work, I'm like on a quick break, but um, I just picked up a shift knob from the place I work at. I'm hype, I'm so hype. <laughs> so um, I had this like booty old nasty. It's got this contour and graphite texture. I'm gonna pretty much install the adapter right now. That way, um, by the time I get out of work, I can throw the knob on and it'll look really, really dope. When you put the adapter on, you should use Loctite, so I'm just gonna let that sit. It's funny as I did a, uh, I did an install video for them, but first step is to put medium grade Loctite on your threads, and then pretty much you wanna uh, put your adapter on and screw that down, tighten it, tighten it down as much as possible without breaking your shifter. So you just wanna have it 
nice and firm. Just put a wee bit on this John, tighten it all the way down. I'm so hyped guys. <laughs> I'm so hyped. Alright, so you take that. This is a 15 millimeter. What's funny is like I <laughs> I could tell you how to do it because I had to make an install video. But you take a 15 millimeter uh, wrench, ratchet, etc. And you just want to snugly secure that. This set, flathead set screw, it's actually a flathead screw, but this will set the orientation of your knob. We'll adjust that in a minute. But for now, I just want to get that so that way by the time I get out of work in a couple hours, that John is dry. I, all you have to do is wait 10 minutes, but um, in that time it'll be completely dry. I gotta get back to work though. Just got out of work-ish, kind of. I gotta run and get to Monica's because we have a party tonight, like a pizza party. But I just want to finish this install and show you how you set the orientation of the knob. So it's already in the knot end here. I ran out real quick. This is a contour. They call this, um, is Ray Sang's contour. It really, really, it fits my hand perfect. And say what you want, you have to feel it in person, it's nasty. It's like shaped for like literally, I don't know, I really like it. This is how you set your orientation. You just mess with this set screw. Screw it all the way down. You wanna back it up a hair. Actually, test it. All right, so it needs to come up to here, so. What is that, 90 degrees? So it has to go pretty much like a, I think you go like, you get to play with it, but you go like 20 degrees. Because it's a different thread pitch, so you can't just kind of turn the screw 90. So you just go back it out just a hair. To get, maybe just a little bit. Did I hear for second first try? Nope. A little bit more. Yeah, there we go. Bam. All right. So you can see I just backed it up until I was right. And uh, I'll show you later. That's a weighted shift knob, but literally it's amazing what those things do. They're literally like, You'd be surprised how much, like, I forget what that is, but, like, our slammer is 635 grams, but it's basically, like, one or two pounds, or th sometimes three, but it's amazing how much of a difference that makes. It's crazy, but I gotta go get ready and get leave for work. I'm gonna lean to school so we can have a, like, there's a book fair, pizza, party, and, uh, I am so hype about this knob. I know, like, I know it's weird probably because I work here, but I still... I'm first a fan of these things because they're freaking nuts. Like, I, I don't know if you guys remember, but... And you guys didn't know me when I had my 86, but it was before I, like, before I knew racing, before I even made videos, I, um, I bought one of the, it's called an Apex R for the, their knobs, Apex R. I bought an Apex R for the A86 back in the day, so. It's just, I've been a fan of racing for a while, and it's cool to, it's cool that I work here, but it's even cooler that I get to, like, pretty much just, uh, rep for them 24-7. Cool people. But I'm gonna let my car warm up, and then we're gonna drive to the pizza party. And, uh, squat out. We bump down, what you mean? Pizza. Pizza party. All right, Lena, break it down. Where are we? At my school. Oh, baby, the big girl. What are you up to? What, what grade are you in? Pre-K. Pre-K? This is her. This isn't your classroom. This is. It is. Yeah. Oh, it is. Wow, she knows. Yeah, let's turn right on. And show us where you put your backpack and your jacket. Wow. And, and show us where you sit. Cause why? They, they do that every year. And this is where you go. <laughs> she has to sit in front of the teacher. And this is. Mm -hmm. And this is where.
Blueberry, a Berry one, and a Water Box. Really? Top. And then where, where's your cubby? Um, Number four. Yes, good job. I'm yellow. And who's that? This one, Mama. Has who's that? Mom. Ike? If I get two more than that, then I win surprise. See, I have two more. <gasps> wow, you're so good. Look, look at you. I almost spilled my chart. You've already won two. Good job. We keep all the toys that have. We have some. We have some Legos and some cars and some animals and some ducks. Wow. And we have some building things and building and building. Wait, actually, there's our bristle block and dinosaur and thingy and build a bear. And we have little slides thingy and stuff and little people. And little people in there. You got little people? They hurt. Do you feed them? Mm, yeah, there's horses in there too. Max and we sleep on the same mm -hmm. mat every time. Yep, and with no blankets. No blankets. And we're this cold. What you mean? But we still have our sweaters, but we're still cold because of our lives. Wow. I bet. <laughs> I'd be freezing. Do right, you have your cool car? Yeah, I got my cool car. Do you have your cool car? Mm, no. Excited to drive with me? Yeah. Do some clutch kicking. Do some burnies. Did I get my card back? Throw some gears. Throw it back in the rainbow. Mommy, can Throw we back. go Target? Throw back attack. Yeah, we can. Do you guys all want to go to Target? Wait, wait. First we have... Home. Mom, okay. Mom, wait, wait. First we have to stop home and drop my pencil off and then get my money and pay my wallet. Your pencil? <laughs> okay, Mom? Okay. Is that liberating, Lena? Did you get you excited? Yeah. Ready to go? Yeah. Just got home? What are you going to film tonight? I'm going to film though. What? You want to wash the cars tonight? Actually, we're going to draw my pencil off and then do the serious thing. <laughs> I'm going to Target, guys. Uh, I can't believe it. And I got my own wallet. You got your own wallet? At my school. <laughs> You're so silly. And then my Target and cha cha cha. You don't have, la, to, talk. La. You don't have to talk that close to it. Yeah. Will we get in? What do we get in, dog? We have two. We got two, but really they're four. Don't you know about it? No, they're not. Ooh, baby, won't you love me then? Okay, All right. It's in some. Let's bring them inside. Let's get them unboxed. Let's show these people what. Oh, no, oh, that's the poop you stepped in. I don't know if this is a separate video or not, but today's just full of ex exciting surprises. I don't, actually, no, it won't be a separate video, but I, I won't test fit. I'll test fit tomorrow, and that's what tomorrow's video is going to be about. Because we just got wheels, so again, um, I wanted to go over this car. I might actually go over this car, but we are going to be... Ryan. Yes, Lena. Getting this car looking good. Yes. Such a big help. I got it, guys. You got it? Team or team? Now we have to get the next one. All this right. is what looks like. All right. uh, now we have to hit down right. your phone. Just in right. case it breaks. Alright, thank you, Lena. Not too heavy. Not too heavy? No. Oh man. It's a tough one for me. It's not a tough one for me. Have my wallet. Have oh, my... Oh, hey, oh, Lena, you can't let go. So we got some wheels, guys. What kind of wheels? Um, some brand news. Some brand news? Yep. Are you gonna do my unboxes? Hey, help me do my unboxes from now? Sure. Hey. Oh, those are hot food babies. You gotta show them, what'd you say? Those are some hot babies. Some hot babies? I can pop it. Let's see what we got. Those are some hot babies. I never <laughs> ordered these type of wheels. These are really, really cheap eBay wheels. And uh, I have them at my, at my clubhouse. At your clubhouse? Yeah, the band house. The band house? Yep, we do some bands. What, do you, what kind do you think you think is that? We do like some, oh, those are some hot wheels. Fresh hot. Do you want to hear my excuse? Ready? I need tires like, for this car. Broken I need tires for this car. Yeah. But I have tires for that. I have tires. So buying these were cheaper than buying tires. That's my excuse. I thought we were just going to unbox one. Why not like this? Of course no. Why not? Come on, this open. Is this what you guys are doing? Yeah, it's funny. Can I go to jail? It's so funny. You want to take that to Walmart? Yeah. Right. Look, we're on. just going to take Mommy's car this time. 
Papa needs gas. And I'm about to run out of memory on this memory card. Ah. What happened? You see, I'm trying to build up the rocks so I cannot scrape. Hmm. Is that funny? Is the way the sun You're is gonna leave this hitting your face. Like that, so I'm just gonna steal them. No, I'm gonna put them in the garage. The way the sun is hitting your skin right now reminds me of a butterfly in the spring night. Alrighty, so I am basically, I think that's it for me tonight. I know this video is all over the place, but hey, that's what I'm saying, though. We're gonna get it though. New wheels, new knob. This car's gonna look dope in no time. All right, my G's, I am all done. I am going to start editing. Hopefully get the video out for tonight. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long. I just realized I can still do fancy stuff because this camera has like an auto, it's not as the highest quality, Technically, but it has an auto slow-mo mode and I can just like you do my fancy shots then But it's super easy to edit because I don't have to cut it up. I don't have to like slow it down It takes a little bit of time, but um, I'm gonna edit real quick. I got a little work to do. So I'll let you boy. Happy Monday. See you soon Hopefully I can get this out in a couple hours Whew. Yeah. Happy Friday guys. I love you so much. Holla you boys ah. Tough for me to pick it up. I gotta run. It seems like yesterday. I just turned 21 I don't wanna be on one and done I wanna do something that nobody has done I spent too many nights trying to figure out why I am the way that I am I'm picking fights with my girl